Good day. In this video, we're going to solve these two problems. In this picture, they're asking us to prove that PR can be written like this, or PR can be written like this. That's the length of that line. In this sketch, they're asking us to prove that Y can be written like this. We will use Sokatua, the ratios that we learned, the sine rule, and the cos rule, which you first have to understand before you start looking at this video. The first sketch looks like this, the triangle QPR. They told us here that QR is equal to QP, indicated on the sketch, and they tell you that QR is A. We're first going to fill in a few things, because these two sides are equal, these two angles will be equal. So this angle down here will also be theta, the length of that line will also be small a, and the angle at the top there will be 180 minus the two other angles, so it's 180 minus 2 theta. The question says, we require to prove that PR is this answer. You will see that there is no cos written in here, so there's a good chance we won't use the cos rule. I quickly wrote out what I already said. We said that angle P is equal to angle R, those two angles. Angles opposite equal sides, so they're both going to be theta. And then the angle there at Q will be 180 degrees minus 2 theta, interior angles of a triangle. I just moved our sketch here, what was required to prove here. And I just wrote down everything we know that we can use in trigonometry to solve this problem. Our ratios from Sokatua, the sine rule, and the cos rule. What a lot of people do wrongly is they try and think, how can I get to this answer? Just don't. Move through these two rules with these ratios, if necessary, to get to that answer. And don't look at it too quickly. So we want the length of PR. We write down the sine rule. PR over sine Q is equal to PQ over sine R. So this PR over sine of that angle is equal to PQ over sine of that angle. Fill in the values that we worked out. Sine Q will be sine 180 minus 2 theta that we worked out just now. The A we get from there and sine theta we get from there. Now we do a little bit of algebra, we multiply by sine 180 minus 2 theta on both sides to get the PR alone. Then using reduction we know that sine 180 minus 2 theta will become plus sine 2 theta. And then PR equals this answer they asked us to prove. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. They could also have asked us using the same sketch to prove that PR equals this. And now again, there is no sign in this answer. There's a cos, so there's a chance we'll be going through the cos rule. I assume you understand the cos rule. There's a video explaining that. So we write this square equals to that square plus that square minus 2 times that times that cos of that angle, which we wrote down here. Please stop the video and make sure this writing is right. Then you fill in, QP's length is A, QR's length is A, A and A again, and then cos 180 minus 2 theta from up there. If you simplify this, A squared plus A squared is 2A squared. Now that 180 minus 2 theta with cos forces us into the second quadrant, makes this change the sign of the cos. So that becomes a plus 2 times A times A is 2A squared, cos 2 theta. We reduced Please look at the video on the reduction formula to explain that plus. Then algebra again, we factorize out a 2a square from those two. We get 2a square bracket 1 plus cos 2 theta equals to pr square. Then to get the pr alone, we will square root both sides. Then we get the final answer, pr equals to a square root of all this. That a squared, if you square root it, it'll get out from underneath the square root, and there is what they asked us to prove. Please stop the video and get your brain around this one. The next question looks like this. They gave us this sketch, and they said, prove that y equals to this. They said that ad is equal to cd, indicated on the sketch, and they told us that ad is x. So we also bring in an x over here. Again, we remind ourselves we can use Sokatua the sine rule and the cos rule. We have two triangles here, triangle ABCA and ADCA. Both of the triangles use AC as a common side. 
There's different ways you could have done this. We start in triangle ABC and we wrote sine of beta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Standing from here, the opposite is Y and the hypotenuse is AC. Then to get the Y alone, we times by AC on both sides. Then AC sine beta equals Y. Now Y is alone. Then we go into triangle ADC, the other triangle, and we remind ourselves AD is equal to DC is equal to X. Then using the cos rule, we write the length of AC square equals this x square plus that x square minus 2 times the x times the x cos of the included angle. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. If you simplify this, you'll get ac squared equals to this, 2x squared minus 2x squared cos alpha. Then you can factorize out a 2x squared from those two terms. And if you square root both sides, you get ac alone. So ac equals to x square root of 2 bracket 1 minus cos alpha bracket. And we can substitute the value of AC from here back into that equation. We just rewrote the equation from there. Replace the value of AC into the place of AC. Just rewrite it in the right order, the way they asked us. They asked us to prove that Y equals to this, and there we have it. Please stop the video and get your brain around this one. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. You may message me at this number to arrange a personalized lesson in mathematics online.